Well, hello everyone. I seem like it's well, it seems like I haven't um made a video in a long time. Seems like it, maybe not, but it does seem like it. This is Katina, and today what I'm going to do is just do my little style for the week, and I just wanted to come on here and um share with everyone. Um, I did shampoo my hair this weekend because I had been doing a twist out all week and I was um, just constantly and consistently putting more stuff on my hair, you know, when I wanted to retwist my hair or whatever. Because I wore those twists for like all week or whatever. So I did, I shampooed my hair and I use this new uh, deep conditioner. And there it is, it's called Care Keratin Complex Infusion Therapy. This is one of those that I love. It's like a vanilla bean deep conditioner. If you could read it down there. Vanilla bean uh, deep conditioner. Um, I, I really like this. When I, um, well, of course, I let it sit on like all night. So I did the little baggy uh, thing and let it sit on all night. Wore it the next day, like all day. <laughs> and then I, um, I just rinsed it out. So... Um, I really like this. This is something that I ordered from um, drugstore.com. And if you order things from them uh, and spend like $25, they'll ship it for free. And also, um, what else did I want to tell you about them? Oh, they also have uh, coupons there on the website that you can just add to your card or whatever. So, I, I don't remember how much I paid for this, but it was on sale. So, just wanted to share that with you. Um, what I did already is I took my little Infusium 23 and I took some of my leave-in conditioner and mixed it together. So, it's like a watered-down version of my leave-in, my unique leave-in with Infusium. Spray my hair down with it. But I've done some other things since then. So, my hair is kind of dry. But I just wanted to show you how I'm going to do this. First... I just did a part around here like that because this is the hair that I'm going to twist out. So I did that. Um, still happy with my hair growth. Um, so it's doing pretty good. It's thick, it's healthy. Um, it's doing pretty good. Now, I did go through a time this winter where I felt like my hair was shedding a lot, but you know. Our hair goes through that little phase or whatever, being natural. But anyway, my hair is pretty dry right now. And what I'm going to do here, I'm not going to leave you on here. I'm going to come back. But I took a rat tail comb and I parted it from the back to the front like that. Okay. And I got a little section right here. And I'm, I did one right here. And then I'm going to do one, two, three, four, maybe four more over here. And I'm going to do them the same way as this. Now, um, as far as these twists I already have done, what I did is mix some Paul Mitchell, the conditioner, which is a leave-in conditioner, with some uh, cold press, cold process castor oil. And to protect my hair, what I did is I just greased my scalp with that mixture that I made. And then I did a flat twist all the way up, which I'm going to show you how I did it when I get over here to this other side. But I did a flat twist all the way up and then I wrapped it around and then I stuck a hairpin through there. And I did the same thing with this one. And as you can see, they're not the same size and I'm not worried about that. That's not a big deal to me. That they're the same size. I think that's what makes the uniqueness of the hairstyle is when you know you can be free about it or whatever. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and um, twist these other ones. And then I'll come back and show you how I do this last one. Okay? Just a moment. Okay, I'm back. And I went ahead and finished these up here. They're already done. So what I'm going to do now is do uh, this last one to show you how I did it. And again, spraying it down with my infusion and a leave-in, unique leave-in conditioner. It's just like 
a little bit of it in here with this infusion and what I put on my hair is the Paul Mitchell the original the conditioner and I mixed it with uh, this cold process cold press castor oil mixed it in this little jar right here and what I did is start it uh, in the back here and I have it on my finger and I just took little sections and like grease my hair with it or you know what we used to call greasing it or whatever but I'm just applying it to my scalp here taking my finger and parting it applying it to my scalp all the way up to the front so did that and dimming brush here that and brush it out here like that okay so and then took this little hicks remember my hicks is almost gone too i need to order some more edges along my edges here Sometimes it's kind of hard to put on when your hair is wet. So it kind of slides. But you can do it. And then I'm going to put some in the back here. And um, I've heard a lot of people say, I can't flat twist. It's not that hard. All you're doing is taking your hair and, I mean, take one string, another string, stick your finger through there. And just two, stri two strand twist it all the way up to the top. So it's going to uh, stay flat to your head, but it's almost like you're braiding it. But you're just using two strands instead of three. So you're still going up towards the front. And hey, if you don't know how to two strand, just keep trying. You'll get the kick of it. Or flat twist or whatever. Because you can flat twist like, I know this kind of sounds crazy, but you can flat twist without doing it with the two strands or whatever. But you're just doing it all the way up like that. And then when I get to the top, I took my little... Because it gets kind of, um, whoops, it's kind of tangled a little bit. So I took my comb and kind of combed it out right there. But take that and then just twist it around. Two strand twist the rest of it. And then I took it and twist it around underneath itself all the way around and then when I got it like that take my hair pin I'm dropping everything oh my god anyway take my hair pin right here and uh stick it through there you want to have the hair pin, so make sure you stick it under the flat twist. So like that. See? So, there you go. Now, I'm going to take a break because I have to do something, and I'll be right back to show you the next step, okay? In a minute. Okay, here we go, and I'm back. Had to do some things. Okay, so anyway, I went ahead um, in this... And the, um, where we left off is I had went ahead and did this last one, which is right here. So let me just turn around so you'll see how it looks in the back. Like that. And remember, I said all of these are not, you know, 
the exact same size or whatever, which is what I like, you know, so they're different or whatever. Let me get a close up of those. So, like that. And then on the other side, it's like that. So they're all going to go to the front. And so now I'm ready to do this part right now since I've ran around and done all that other stuff. Now this here is dry. So, get my little spray right here. And I'm just going to um, well, spray that down a little bit, you know, get it back loose. And, um, so, got that, like that, um, take my little mixture here, remember that I mixed up with the, uh, Paul Mitchell the conditioner and, um, uh, cold press, cold process castor oil, and I'm just going to take this through here, right through there, parting it with my fingers. This is the last part that I have to do. Okay. Yeah. So that's that. Okay. I'm just going to take some and put it all over this right here. And got my little denim brush. Okay. And yeah. I'll be all tangled up. Okay. Okay. And I'm not going to use like a. Um, Just a little bit more, a little more damp. And just to give it like a little more definition, I'm going to take my little Paul Mitchell and put a little bit more on here than I did the rest of my hair. Yeah, use more. And then I'm just going to start over here. Parting it with my fingers. Put a little more of this conditioning on here as I go. And I'm going to start doing two strand twists. Make sure that's even. I'm out of here. Try to get it as even as possible anyway. Okay. I'm just going to two strand twist it. And then, I'm not going to make them too small either. See how much I put in that one? And then, I'm just going to part it with my finger going across like that. So, from here, kind of diagonal the way that I'm parting it. And even like this one right here, I'm going to make this into three. So... And if it gets a little tangled, just take and do it with your fingers. Okay. Okay, and while I'm doing this, I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about, um, some things that I've experienced with my hair in like the last few months. And the first thing is the shedding. That really scared me because um, I think I take really good care of my hair. So I'm like, wow, why is my hair shedding like that? But um, after, you know, looking at a lot of YouTube videos and doing some research, and I also know that naturally we shed like, um, I think it's like, 50 to 75 hairs per day, something like that. I learned that back when I went to hair school. 
back in the 90s for school for cosmetology back in the 90s but I don't know for some reason <laughs> um, you know when I would take my hair down from especially like a protective style I noticed that I was like wow look at all this shedding but um, then again if your hair is up and you're really not uh, you know tucked away and you're really not um, combing your hair or something like that or messing with it for that amount of time then there is going to be some shedding because you know it didn't have the ability to shed while up so I mean it only makes sense but anyway um, I try to make sure that I keep my hair moisturized and uh, deep conditioned to uh, keep it in as healthy a state possible so, even with these twists, um, I don't even want to bother my hair that much, you know, wearing these, even when I wear these twists out like this. I'm going to try to do it, you know, because sometimes I find myself when I wear twist outs, it's like I have to do something to my hair every night. At least, I mean, put it in big twist or something like that. But, um, try not to bother these that much. So, oh, and another thing is, I bought that uh, Mixed Chicks Deep Conditioner, so I'm going to see how that works, and I'll let you know about that, because this one I've used last, this Vanilla Bean, it won me over. I really like it, so I'll be buying some more of that, and I was late, I probably used too much. <laughs> when I use it I'm pretty like a hundred percent positive that I use too much so like I mean you can actually see in the um, conditioner you could actually see the vanilla beans I thought that was like neat that you could really see them um, in the conditioner and I mean it smells so good and I mean my hair when I rinsed it out my hair was so super soft it didn't have a lot of slip I will tell you that for those who like a lot of slip but um, I like the way my hair felt I really do I like the way my hair felt uh, when I rinsed it out I didn't see like a lot of uh, hair shedding or anything like that so that was a good thing so I'll definitely be getting more of that. Okay. See, I didn't do um that many twists. Oh, pull that through there. Can you see that? I see it up better over here. Yeah, my hair is really growing. I'm happy. So almost, I'm almost a year in. Almost a year in. And I trimmed my ends in December. So, let's see. It's March now. So, I'll probably be trimming them again like early June or something like that. Okay. That's the last one. So, getting ready to wrap my hair up and I will be back with you in the morning to show you the results okay thank you um oh I thought this was the end of the video anyway I feel silly but anyway um I'll be back with you in just a moment and hey Um, I forgot what I was going to say, but anyway, I'll be right back with you in just a moment. Well, in the morning. Okay? Mighty night. Hey, y'all. I'm back. And I owe you an apology because I was supposed to make this video this morning. However, I was uh, running just a little bit late for church. So, um, anyway, I had to make this video when I got back. But, anyway, 
I um I went ahead, I took my hair down this morning, and before I took my hair down, I took my coconut oil. Bam, there you go. There we go. Organic coconut oil. Nice. Okay, so I took the coconut oil and you know just put a little on my finger like that. And I took and I went in between each one of them like that. And when I when I took my hair down, I put coconut oil on my hair. I mean, this is not complicated, um, you know, for you to do or whatever. But I just took down the two strand twist. And you know, with the two strand twist, there's two pieces, right? So I just took those two pieces and made two more pieces, if that makes sense. So each one that I took down, I um, you know, split them in another two. So. Put the coconut oil on there, rubbed it on my hands, and went over the back, which is still up. And let me see if I can get a close-up of this, y'all, because I really like how this turned out. And my hair is so super soft. I don't know if it was that leave-in conditioner or if it's just, um, you know, the Paul Mitchell uh, leave-in conditioner and my little spray and the, you know castor oil mix i don't know but i really like the way my hair turned out i really like it uh i did go like this even after i took them apart uh took the two strand twist apart you know and broke them into two and now it looks kind of like a semi afro and twist out combination or something like that but anyway i really like the results of my hair it's I really I love it and I really like the fact that my hair is, is you know in a protective style in the back and and it may look like a lot but as you can see when I uh, twisted my hair that um, there was not even a lot in the front I mean even if I go like this I mean it's almost just like a bang see that so yeah, I like it. And so I'll be wearing this style for the rest of the week. And tonight, when I go to bed, what I'll do is I'm going to take my hair and roll it like that and put like a little hairpin right there. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And I'm going to take my little, uh, I don't know what you call it, but it's like a little Velcro thing. And I'm just going to put it around the sides in the back and snap it right here. So, I'll be wearing this. Now, my twist may need to be redone in a couple days. But, hey, that's okay. I am I mean, it's still low manipulation because I'm not messing with my hair a lot. So, I'll be doing that. And, hey, look, check out my earrings. I made these. And you see these two little circle things? They were just uh, something that I found. I don't know. It came off of something that I was going to throw away. But I took those. And you see this long. I don't know if you can see it. They're simple, but I really like them. I, they're, it was just a long piece of something. I think off of a necklace or something like that. And I took that, stuck it through the hoops, and then I connected it at the top with this little hook and I order these hooks from uh, eBay so came out with those earrings those are cute I think so anyway and they're simple so um, thank you for watching if you have any questions or anything um, hey um, leave your questions or comments I'm always welcome I just ask that you um, have an open mind about this like i always say some things that work for one may not work for others and um um if we're not friends on facebook let's become friends i'll leave my um the link to my page and um i like sharing ideas you know but at the same time i do understand what works for my hair may not work for yours um i'm i'm not one of those natural police so as i mentioned i use the paul mitchell and this you know some some may not agree with that or whatever and that's fine it works for my hair i really like it i used it when i had a relaxer and it worked well then too so um again i ask you um just consider things with an open mind and um 
Hey, don't forget to pray over your hair. That's something that I do do and I think is important. Thank you for watching. Peace and love.